Hello, my name's Todd Etter. I'm an employee at The Motley Fool. Actually, actually, I've been an employee since the very beginning uh, of the founding of The Motley Fool way back in 1994. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our stock advisor service. You might be out there researching other investing services of this type and uh, wondering, you know, is this the one for you? Well, hopefully, um, after you listen to me drone on a little bit, um, you'll think that maybe it is. Um, I'm going to tell you three reasons why I think Stock Advisor is so compelling. First of all, our performance. Secondly, our down-to-earth analysis um, and the way we communicate with our members. And third, our members themselves, our uh, marvelously large community of members out there helping not only try to beat the market, each other trying to beat the market, but helping to teach each other on the best way to do that. So the, those are the three things. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about what the Stock Advisor service is, first of all. Uh, as I mentioned, the founding of the Motley Fool, it was founded by two brothers. Here they are, David and Tom Gardner. And full disclosure, this is a little bit of false advertising. They are way older than they are now. I think this was taken uh, a lot earlier when they were a little bit younger, although Tom still has lost some of his hair. Um, but each month, you get a pick from each of the brothers. So you have two stock picks every month, and they've been doing this for 12 years. And so regardless of the people that have been doing it for a very long time, they have all these picks, but brand new members as well. Each month they can come in and see the latest recommendations from the Gardner Brothers. Now we talked about track record. The performance of this service um, is a really compelling reason. They've beaten the market over the last 12 years, and hopefully they will continue to be the market um, with these picks that they make every month. All of this is very transparent, and that's a big part of the service. You can come in here and look at the recommendations, and you can see, if I click on active here, um, you can see all of the picks they've made through the history of the service, including the ones that they no longer uh, think are actually good picks and so forth. But if that's a little too overwhelming, all those picks in one place, it's, it's a massive amount of stocks to sort of wrap your brain around. Um, maybe you're just starting out and you don't quite know where to start. Well, we've divided things up into handy little badges here. We have new stocks. These are the ones that are in the current issue, the current recommendations, as I said, each, each gardener making one each month. But we have our best buys now. Maybe you don't know when to jump in. Should you, should you wait? Should you go for it? Well, these are the ones that we may think are the best place to start. Starter stocks, maybe you haven't really been investing that long. We try to cater ourselves to both uh, seasoned investors but beginners. So if you're a beginning investor and you're a little bit afraid of dipping your toe into that stock market, well, here are some stalwart companies that we feel like, uh, you know, they're ones that are very familiar. You're going to know what the product is, and we think that's very important for beginning investors. And then stocks on hold, um, these are ones that we still think are good, good investments, but maybe not the ones to jump into right away. We don't want to say that they're no longer good investments, but we don't want to say, yes, buy them now. So they're kind of just on hold. And then recent sales and so forth. So it's divided up into a very handy organizational way sort of to wrap your brain around this 12 years of picks. Uh, here's a more organized way. So that is sort of our performance, and we've done really well over the last 12 years, uh, beating the market. And all of the numbers are there on the site. You can go to fool.com and actually get the up-to-date versions. These things will obviously change after this video and so forth. Um, you can also break it down between Team David and Team Dom, the two, uh, Team Tom. The two brothers have a very different uh, investing style. David likes to swing for the fences a little bit more, um, maybe picking stocks that may seem overpriced. Um, David tends to buy services he knows and loves, and as I said, swinging for the fences, going for the really big uh, payoffs, maybe a little bit riskier. Tom, on the other hand, um, is a little bit more of a value-oriented investor, so some of the picks are maybe a little stodgier, you know, more traditional companies. Uh, he goes for base hits, if we were to continue to use the baseball analogy, and so you can get that in Team David and Team Tom here. Okay, so I talked a little bit about performance. The second thing I want to mention is our down-to-earth analysis. Um, we feel like back in the founding of The Motley Fool, the Shakespearean fool was the one who could tell the truth to the king, but in a very funny sort of way of the common folk. And we try to do that with uh, each of our issues in the way we sort of communicate uh, how we think you should invest. So here's the latest issue, and we can just click in here and look at this. Um, each issue starts with sort of a little introductory article about uh, some aspect of investing, trying to help you sort of think about the stock market in a different way. Uh, this one talks about value stocks versus, versus growth stocks and something like that. Um, over here is the table of contents, and this is kind of what each issue will look like. You get the David recommendation, um, and then you get the risk rating for that. One thing which I think is kind of fun, um, it says, you know, uh, risk rating 8 marble. What does that mean? Well. If you click here, the names of the levels, 
Uh, and this is another thing about sort of making things fun, a little bit more non-Wall Street jargon. We like to rank our terms as, as, as far as riskiness by how crushable they are. So, uh, you know, not that there's any guaranteed investment out there, but if we say something is a diamond, um, then that's not very crushable. That's going to be a very stable investment for you, one that will likely succeed. Um, then you go from black box, marble, jawbreaker, you know how tough those are to bite into. Um, but then it starts getting more and more crushable. Soda can, beach ball, egg, and then peeps, the most crushable stocks out there. Um, although I, I have to disagree a little bit. I think peeps are, are quite spongy and, and, and can last forever. I find peeps in the backseat of my car and they're doing just fine. But an egg, that thing is crushable. So anyway, I'm not going to quibble about uh, the exact rankings of these, but you can see that we sort of say, yeah, this one's really crushable or this one's not crushable at all. And that's just done in a little fun way. So those are the risk ratings. Um, we also, we don't want to say that any investment is guaranteed to succeed or doomed to fail. And so we break things down into what we call the five and three. So with each stock, we give five green flag reasons why we think it's a great investment, but also say, you know, things might not be as we hope. So there's three red flags, and you can list, and list, we list them here, and you can see how we think that, you know, yeah, these are some positives, but things might not go as planned, so these are three negatives and so forth. And you get that with both David's recommendation and Tom's recommendation. So that's a little bit more about our analysis. Again, we try to speak in the language of the common man, back like you know the Shakespearean fool, as I mentioned, did, um, and in a way that's understandable. If uh, you're a newer investor, you can come over to the About Stock Advisor tab, and you can read all the different articles we have, not only on the Stock Advisor service, but simply things like 13 Steps to Investing Foolishly. And this is just, you know, I've never invested anything in the stock market, all the way up to I want to do more things like options and, and, and calls and all these fancy terms that even I don't know what they are. Um, and you can see that progress from your first investment all the way to owning a, a portfolio of 50 plus stocks. Um, how to find a broker, how to buy a stock, all these things. We're trying to teach and educate um, along the way. So that's the Stock Advisor tab. Again, this, here's the brothers here, and they're, they're, as you see, they're more older now, so this is a little bit more accurate photo of the brothers. Um, so the third thing I wanted to mention was our community. Um, yes, David and Tom are, are great investors, and, and we feel like they're, they're, they're great as far as making stock picks, but they're not doing it alone. They're doing it with a community of, of literally thousands and thousands of, of fools out there. And I should say, when I say fools, uh, for the Motley Fool, being a fool is actually a good thing. It's a very contrarian way. Uh, it's a language we say. So when we say something is foolish, it's actually it's actually a positive sign. So if, I, if I've used that term and you're wondering what I meant, that's sort of a little explanation. So back to the community. Um, we have message boards and forums on all our stocks in the services. We also have message boards on how to invest. Do you need help? Uh, I have a basic question. Uh, my stock went up, what happened, and so forth. So I could click on the really basic questions message board. And right here, I, you can see all the different topics that our members are discussing. One thing that's key about our message boards is that they're moderated. So it's not the Wild West where everyone's just flaming each other with, with one sentences and saying, you know, this is great, no, it's not, you suck, no, you suck, blah, blah, blah. And it's just chaos, and you can't make anything out of that. Um, these are much more civil. People take their time, and they really write lengthy uh, board posts to sort of help each other out. They're moderated, so anytime you see a TMF in front of someone's name, like these two here, um, these are people that are, you know, working with the Motley Fool to try to help maintain the conversation and keep it on topic. So that, we feel like, is a, is a, is a really good thing um, that we do with our community. Um, so as I said, it's, it's kind of tapping into the minds, uh, the brilliant minds of all the investors out there. For some stocks, you might get um, a person who works on the assembly line in, in assembling chips for an electronics company. You might find someone who's been at a company for 15 years and has seen the changes. And um, all these different sort of perspectives are what make it, you know, anal uh, analyzing a stock uh, sort of key. And you can learn from all the people out here we have in our community. And so that's something we really pride ourselves on. So that was a quick tour of, of sort of the stock advisor side. I hope you have a little bit more of an understanding of what it is. Um, at the end of this, if you think, yes, this is, this is the thing for me, then there's going to be a button that says, join stock advisor now. And uh, it will magically appear. Click on it. If you're not ready to go for that yet, then that's totally cool as well. At least I hope this walkthrough was informative and maybe a little bit fun, uh, hopefully somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.